picture um, from the Japanese gardens in San Jose that I took. Um, I've always liked going there because of the tranquility of the environment there. It's usually always quiet and people are just walking around. It's very relaxing. It's a good place to go if you just want to, you know, spend some quiet time and think about things. Something happens, don't see it coming now. You can't stop you. I chose this picture of the koi fish because it reminds me of when I was in elementary school and we went to the Japanese gardens and as a child we were just like, me and my classmates were going overboard feeding all the koi fish and they were all, uh, basically they ate a bunch of food because pretty much every kid in my class had, I think at the time it was only a dime and we pretty much fed the entire pool of fish. Heart in circles to you. My name is Manuel Rodriguez. I'm 23 years old and I'm from San Jose, California. Tell you, shed your pride and you climb the heaven. Um, I think I first identified myself as gay when I was 15 years old. I think I knew when I was 12, but I wasn't comfortable within my own uh, mind admitting that I was gay until I was 15. My parents kind of had conflicting views about me being gay. I know my mom doesn't like it, and my dad, I'm not too sure. Like, he's more tolerant than my mom, but they prefer not to talk about it. They treat it as a non-issue. They feel like if they just don't bring it up and don't hear about it, then in their own minds, I guess they feel like I'm not gay. So it's kind of hard because it's like if I talk about it, they get really uncomfortable. I was affected by depression um, when I first realized I was gay. I come, a very, come from a very strict um, Christian household and upbringing, and I knew within myself, without anyone even telling me that um, being gay was at odds with um, the way I was raised. So from the time I was 12 until the time I was 15, it was really hard for me uh, emotionally and psychologically to accept the fact that I was gay. And in fact, it was a funny story. It wasn't until I was 15 that I accepted myself for being gay because I actually, for the first time, seeing gay people at my school um, that I was attending in my high school. And I saw how happy they were. And you know, there was, I had always believed in narrow, uh, negative stereotypes of gay people and they didn't fit the stereotypes. And they seemed to be living their lives, you know, as happy young adults. And I think that really changed my whole um, point of view about gay people and allowed me to accept myself. What I like to do in my free time is a variety of things. Um, the easiest one, I guess, is just hang out with my friends and we either go out to eat, we go to the movies, basically do normal things, go to the mall, go shopping, go out to clubs, go out drinking and dancing. This is a picture of my friends, once again, Vincent and Connie, on our way out. And it's actually we're on our way to meet some of our other friends. And as I said before, it's kind of nice knowing that I've met so many people through friends and friends of friends. And I think that's the one great thing about the gay community is that you always feel like a sense of, you know, family. Even your dog is This is a picture, uh, another picture of the club splash that me and my friends go to, Connie. And I just like this picture because it reminds me of just like the fun times we have, even just getting ready together before we go and how funny my friend Connie is because she doesn't know how to do her own makeup, so it's usually my friend Benson who does it for her. One of my best friends is Vincent, and he's actually the one in the pictures um, that I took. Um, he's what I consider one of my best friends. He actually helped me come out of the closet. He took me to my first gay club bar. Um, I actually met him at my workplace. He actually came up to me and started talking to me. And we just started hanging out from there, and he introduced me to a lot of my other friends, which are also his friends as well, and we actually hang out and go out a lot together on the weekends. If the sky Above you, should turn dark. 
The only advice, well, not only, but the advice I would give to someone who's um, struggling with coming out is to know, let them know that there are other gay people out there. I know sometimes if they're from a small town or even a big city and they just feel isolated, um, you know, there are gay people out there. It's not something unusual or unnatural. Um, and there's a variety of ways, you know, depending on their age of how to meet other gay people. The internet's the easiest, whether it's through places like MySpace or other gay online communities or um, centers such as the Ability Frank Center or other centers in other cities, um, chat rooms. Um, and if they're older, then there's always bars and clubs to go to to meet other gay people. So, you know, by talking and just getting immersed into the community, you're sure to find, you know, someone who's going to, you know, be willing, you know, to talk to you and be your friend. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, yeah. All you got to do